Hallelujah, Lord. Church, I feel the presence of God. The Spirit of the Lord is in this place. And this is the end of our 21 day fasting. The Lord spoke to Pastor Ed to declare a fast, a 21 day fast, every January of the year. And when we fast, we humble ourselves before God. Our spiritual senses are heightened. And we are able to tune in to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Some of you missed a meal or two meals. Some of you fasted for two days or three days. And the Bible says that if we humble ourselves, the people of God that are called by His name, if we humble ourselves and pray and seek His face and turn away from our wickedness, then the Lord will hear from heaven and forgive our sins and will heal their lands. Church, in this prayer and fasting, the Lord is calling us not to only pray for holy ground, but I believe, church, that God is calling Holy Ground Family Fellowship Church to pray for our nation. Church, I am troubled in my spirit. And the Lord is speaking to me that if we don't humble ourselves in prayer and fasting, something bad is going to happen to our nation. And the Lord is calling us to fast. And I remember Jehoshaphat in Judah. Israel had enemies. There were vast enemies and they were trying to invade Judah. And they were scared. And the Lord raised up a prophet, Hazel, and the prophet said, King Jehoshaphat, fear not. For the battle is not yours, the battle is God's. And the Lord is speaking to us, folks, to pray for our nation, to pray for the protection of this nation. And unless the people of God prays, something bad is going to happen to this nation. I remember Abraham Lincoln. There was a civil war in the United States of America. There was poverty all over. And the Lord spoke to Abraham Lincoln to call a fast for the whole nation in 1866. And he called for four separate fasts. And the whole nation humbled themselves before God. And the next year, in 1867, the Lord blessed the United States of America. I remember Russia sold Alaska to the United States of America for only $7.2 million. It's like two cents per acre. It was a real estate field blessings for the United States of America. And starting 1867, the Lord blessed United States of America and the federal government of the United States of America had a surplus for 28 straight years. It's because the whole nation humbled themselves in fasting. Holy Crown Family Fellowship, we humbled ourselves before God in fasting and prayer for a breakthrough for our nation. And we also pray for our health. Genesis 15 verse 15 says, May you live a good old life. And I pray that God will give us good health, divine health. That God will give us the discipline to break a poor, bad habit of eating junk foods. And I pray for long life so God can use us in this last of the last days. And I also pray for our families, folks. 
family is a basic unit of the church. Once a family is broken, it's destroyed by the devil, then the church cannot function well. As you can see, divorce is everywhere. As you can see, relationships are broken. As you can see, the kids are in rebellion against their parents. We fast to pray for our family. And we also fast and pray. Not only for our family, but also for the growth of this church. And I pray for the abundance of work in this church. And I pray that God will bless this church. Father, we humble ourselves before you, Lord. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, as you bless Israel before, oh Lord. Lord, when they were in famine, I pray that you would bless this nation, our churches all over the United States of America, our families, Father. Bless, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. And you promise, Lord, that we humble ourselves. You will restore the years that the locust has eaten, that the caterpillar has eaten, that the canker worm has eaten, and the palmer worm has eaten. And you will restore it, Lord, and we will have plenty to eat, and we will be satisfied, and we won't be put to shame. Father, I thank you, Lord. I bless you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for hearing the cries of our hearts today. Lord, you know every need of your people today. But Father, nothing is hidden, Lord. You know our needs. And Father, you're here to meet all of our needs. And I thank you. We give you praise for that. Father, we thank you, Lord, for Holy Ground. We thank you for Pastor Ed and the leadership, Father, the pastoral staff and the deacons and all the members of the church. Thank you for using Holy Ground, for raising up Holy Ground for such a time as this, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Our future is in your hands. We give you praise. And Father, we pray also, Lord, for the upcoming Valentine's Day. Lord, we pray that many couples, or not only couples, but people, singles, everyone, Lord, will attend this meeting. For we know, Lord, that you have a word for your people. We believe this is going to be full of fun and excitement. But above all, you have a message for your people, Father. So, Lord, we thank you. We give you praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the seeds of the word of God grow in your life to its full potential. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May His favor rest upon you and give you peace forever and ever. And all God's people say, Amen and Amen. Word of God speak.